it's been 20 or 30 years. <laughs> and the current version of how art and community exists on the internet today, I don't think is the right version. I wanted to discuss today a video I saw from co-founder of Patreon, Jack, I don't know how to say his last name, Conti, Cont? <laughs> that sounds a little off, but I'm just going to say Jack, <laughs> from co-founder Jack, and his perspective and aim for the platform. I've been thinking a lot about the whole arc of the internet uh, and how it's evolved over the last couple decades, and then how I think it's going to evolve, and Patreon's place uh, in all of that. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's basically where the diehard fans go to show their support for their favorite artists, creatives. So Jack starts off his talk with discussing the graduation from Web 1 to Web 2 and how that allowed people to not just passively consume content, but actively participate in the creation of that content. And he discusses how he was able to ride the wave of Web 2 to build this healthy, active community around his music and his videos and how that influenced his viewpoints on a follower model and subscription-based distribution. The concept of the follow changed my life. It made my dreams come true as an artist. It took me from playing empty bars to living out my fantasy as a musician. The follow is a piece of internet architecture that felt closer to magic than anything I had ever experienced in my life. Jack also goes on to say how throughout the years and with the advancement in the internet technology that the changes in the algorithm have really impacted creators' ability to connect with their audience. Right around the 2010s, there was a new change happening. Facebook started experimenting with a new thing called ranking. And I realize most everybody here knows about this, but what ranking did was essentially it took the feed, which you can think of as a list of posts from creators that I follow, and it analyzed each and every post for how engaging it was. And if it wasn't engaging enough, Facebook would then take that post and push it down in the feed. In other words, they started ranking or ordering posts according to what was best for their business. But around the turn of the decade, a new company came onto the scene called TikTok. And TikTok had a much deeper impact in the ecosystem I think anyone foresaw at the time. It wasn't just short form vertical first video. That wasn't it. That's a red herring, I think. It was much more fundamental than that. TikTok said, we want to make the most engaging feed possible. This whole idea of a list of your subscriptions, forget about that. Where each of these posts are chosen for me by TikTok instead of me choosing what's in my feed. And this completely abandoned the concept of the follow. We all know this. By TikTok, YouTube wanting you to stay on their platform longer, instead of focusing on providing you with videos made by your favorite creators or creators that you follow, it focuses on trying to push you videos that it thinks you will enjoy from random creators. And that's good in, to some degree, right? Like it pushes you different creators maybe you wouldn't normally have looked for. But with that algorithm change, focusing more on the prosperity of the platform instead of the creators on the platform. The traditional follower model that Jack created Patreon around, it, it doesn't work anymore. The other platforms had to compete. YouTube launched Shorts, Instagram launched Reels, and Twitter launched a For You feed as well. And within a couple of years, this whole system of organization for the internet, the creator-led community, started to fade into the past. Now, I know some of you are 
artists, creatives, and maybe you don't have a Patreon. Or maybe you create an account, but you haven't really looked into building the specific tiers, planning out how much each tier is going to cost per month, and you really haven't taken the next step into building that platform for yourself. I haven't built a Patreon for my own reasons, but after watching Jack's video, I I want to hopefully push some of you to actually take that next step and create a Patreon account. Because I think a lot of you who are so talented, I know some of you follow me and I've seen your artwork the music you create, the videos you create, and I think it is worth the jump in trying to build a strong community on Patreon, outside of YouTube, TikTok, wherever you are. So I'm going to let Jack explain some of the features that he is looking to push out for creatives who are going to utilize Patreon to build that authentic, strong community that we're all looking for. And we've been building a lot in the background over the last couple of years, but we made some big announcements uh, a couple months ago about the next phase of Patreon and how we're thinking about this problem. Specifically, we um, started as a membership platform 11 years ago, subscription payments, but we have built a lot, especially in the last three years, in an effort to take a more holistic approach to solving this. We built video, community, podcasting, better posting, a new media player, commerce, free membership, which is essentially like a follow gated on an email, and live, and while this might look like a lot, it's actually just three things, media, community, and business. So I think what Patreon is trying to really do here with this, with these slow changes, right? This isn't like something that's going to happen overnight, but I think what Jack's aim is to do is turn Patreon into an all-in-one place to be, to be close with the creators that you support. So you don't have to necessarily be there as someone who pays a monthly subscription for specific perks. What I think is going to happen is Patreon, with these slow changes... And the focus on community and bringing everyone together, not just the supporters who are willing to pay to show their support, but also those who are not able to or just not willing to pay a monthly subscription for specific content. But they want to still be there and chat with the artists and chat with other community members who also enjoy this one artist or creator. And I think it's going to do what YouTube is trying to do, but better. Like YouTube has a community tab that a lot of YouTube uh, creators use, but it's not really a key feature. And I don't think community posts are pushed out enough to be shown to the community. And Patreon is going to be, I think, like this really cool, like kind of club environment, like um, not like a party club, but a very small group of people who can see daily posts from the community and kind of like a Discord, YouTube, uh, Reddit maybe, like an all- in one place to be. So I think this is going to be a good opportunity for a lot of you who create content, art, to utilize to really build your community. And we're now thinking of Patreon no longer as a membership platform, where we started, but as this whole thing, the media community and business foundation for the next decade of professional creativity on the internet organized around the concept of the true follow in an effort to build a better way that art can exist on the web. 
That's the theory. That's what the company is setting out to solve now. Um, and in practice, what that looks like is a, a new set of products and tools that we built mm -hmm. into Patreon. Um, this is our first foray into community. And um, essentially, this allows fans to connect with each other and, and build energized fandoms and creators to hop in there and talk with fans. And So this is also very interesting because the way they show this is um, on a cell phone, I think it helps their message in um, bringing people closer together and it, it look like a chat room. Like it's just where everyone can go, like Discord, you know? Um, it's, it's a place for true fandom. Why do we build this? What's the, what's the thinking? What's the strategy and the idea behind this? Here's why. As a creator on the internet today, I can get subscribers and I can get views and I can, if I can send my fans to Instagram or TikTok and they can be there, but what I've noticed is those communities degrade over time. I, I, they, 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 they don't get energized over time, they get de-energized. It gets harder and harder to reach those people. I make a post, I reach 2% of my audience, I reach 1% of my audience. Yeah. I lose touch with those people and there's no way for me to find those real fans. Those Sending people to other platforms. Discord, TikTok, X, Instagram. It's not allowing people to stay in one place. It's like an extra step that a lot of people don't want to take to be in a community. And Patreon focusing on bringing all of those features at on different platforms in one is what is going to really help you as a creative. Because it focuses on taking out that extra step that people really aren't willing to do and make it easier to join a community and be active in that community. So I'm really excited, and this is why I think a lot of you should take advantage of this right now and start working into utilizing Patreon and check out all of its features to build your community. I plan to eventually be on Patreon. I have to figure out exactly how I want to do that, but if this is going where I hope it's going, I'm very excited to use Patreon in a way that is just easier, really. It's just easier. So this is going to be really cool. Um, let's see what else he has to say. True fans, the small portion of my fans that drive everything for me as a creator. The way we're building this and what I want as a creator is a place where I can send my fans and that fandom gets energy over time. That fandom gets closer. That fandom gets more vibrant, more connected over time, more enthusiastic over time. That's what I want. All of these features all together um, are really going to help a lot of you create those communities that you want to create. And I think it will help us as a consumer to join these communities and be seen, be active. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.